Greg Orloff with IIoT World, and I'm here at the NOACA conference annual meeting. And I'm here with Mark Jennings Bates. Mark Jennings Bates. <laughs> he is from Pal V. It's a personal air and land vehicle. Now, Mark, you just gave an outstanding presentation to the uh, annual meeting attendees. Can you tell us a little bit about what this vehicle means for the future of transformation in a connected industry? Yeah, definitely. Thank you for the comment too. Uh, really, if you look at a roadmap, this is the first phase of changing the way we view transportation. And so this vehicle is really, I'm going to use a crash term, it's quite dumb. There's not much okay. technology on here except aviation technology. Part of that reason is because we have a conflict with weight and being able to get a car into the air. The evolution of this is going to be a vehicle that may have autonomy, quite possibly. Likely is going to have a lot of sensory additions, IoT technology that's going to allow us to see how it's operating in the air in real time and allow us to correct and modify the flight responses in that regard. Um, so I think this is phase one and we're ready and we have teams working on those subsequent roadmap stepping stones, if you like. Outstanding. So phase two and three of that connected roadmap are underway. That, that's exciting stuff. Now, you're packing up to go out of town right now, but you're going to be back. I believe you're coming back for the Energy Tech Conference here in Cleveland. That's October 21st to 25th. Yes, so if you missed the opportunity to see us now, please come back and attend Energy Tech. Well, Thank not you. only am I going to be back, the car's going to be back. The going to be back. <laughs> the whole kit and caboodle. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.